What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. F- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, and uh, the, the free episode will be ad-free as well on there. So, uh, And if not, thanks, and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. Everyone, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. To two small meat boys podcast. Yeah, Cody and I are doing this confession style today because I don't have a webcam, <laughs> and he has his turned off. So, confession style. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me, son, what's been troubling you? Oh man, I bought the Gwyneth Paltrow vagina candle some time mm. ago. And how does that? How has that been affecting you? I want to lick it, father. Hmm. So now, I did. does it? You did. I you liked, liked it. it. I mm. liked it. Mm. Well, let I me mean, ask you this. Let me yeah. ask you this. Does yeah. it really smell like pussy? That's, <laughs> and this is just me asking. This isn't like a church thing. Does it smell? It smells. It has the musk. Does it? it I fucking musk. knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I was telling Paul. I said this. I probably does smell like it. <laughs> Do you have a little Anyways. boy? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, no! <nah! laughs> no! Oh, man. Starting early. <laughs> oh, no. Starting off with a bang. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, my God. A priest with a... Dude, had, how creepy... No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> how creepy would it be? You just going to some priest quarters. There's a candle and the and the scent is kids playing outside. <laughs> All right. Anyways, hopscotch flavored, <laughs> scented. I mean, <laughs> I guess. Well, hopscotch flavored. It's just chalk and tastes concrete. like chalk. <laughs> yeah, tastes like chalk and children's laughter. <laughs> you know, I was thinking uh, when I was making breakfast this morning. What was goop? Sh- Wait, what were you gonna say? I cut you off. Sorry, I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. goop. Should have been the name of like. A post workout shake that like fitness influencers drink. Yeah. I don't I don't know I don't know maybe I've said this before, but it just cracks me up that all fitness Instagrammers do on their stories is brag about like eating sludge. Like that's what shakes <laughs> are. It's just sludge. Yeah, just, just brown. Like, look, yeah. Mud. Look at my green sludge. I'm better than you. <laughs> it's vegan. It's seventy five percent soylent. Yeah, them and <laughs> Remember when tech dudes were all drinking Soylent? <laughs> no, when the fuck was that? I mi- I completely Dude, like, missed that one. Like 2014 is when Soylent, because it wasn't Soylent like a military invention or something like that. Maybe so it was funny. For, developers it was for like they need MREs to write code. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it became like the new hot shit in Silicon Valley. All of these people thought that they didn't have to eat food. Wow, and so and so Soylent like would sell their product to these tech entrepreneurs and people just weren't eating for weeks. They were just drinking <laughs> Soylent. <laughs> it's so fucked, dude. First of all, the first world privilege to be like, I don't want food anymore. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, just be yeah. like, yeah, I'm bored of it. Or it's yeah, a, maybe, Maybe that's what it was. Something to to help combat uh, uh, hunger or something. What was Soylent originally invented for? <clears throat> Jamie it right. Jamie that shit right now, man. Dude. So funny to be like, I don't want to eat food. I know. And then this pr- that's probably why all these insane apps came about because everyone was so fucking hungry. Yes. <laughs> Making up <laughs> crazy shit. That's why there's DoorDash, Grubhub, Caviar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. What if someone, um, it was like a t- task service, and uh, he, um, uh, they brought you food. Yes, they brought you food. <laughs> Just anything, anything, any, 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 sort of, any form of sustenance. Anything. Dev's working super fast. Gotta get, I need food, I need food, I need food, I need food. Reinhardt is the guy who invented it. Claims... A host of health benefits from the drink and noted that it had greatly reduced his monthly food bill, which fell from 
$470 U.S. to $155 U.S. <sighs> and the time spent behind the preparation and consumption of food whilst providing him greater control over his nutrition. That's like one of the therapeutic parts about food. Making it, cooking it. Yeah, I know. Being involved in, in what what you like, what you don't like. It's like one of the joys <laughs> of life. It's so funny. It's such... I feel like that's like a, just something from Silicon Valley. Some tech dude being like the ultimate just... Like stoic, no pleasure, no sex, no nothing. Yeah, meditation nothing. every morning, no food. Yeah, no forms of pleasure. Yeah, just just code and improving humanity through DoorDash. Yeah, <laughs> he just he sits in his Zen garden and he thinks about how he can fuck everyone over into making millions. <clears throat> how can I further late stage capitalism and ruin everybody? Ah, a task service that has kids for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it, dude. Fucking... Postmates, Postmates, he's, Postmates needs to do like a free Soylent day. You know, they do like ice cream day and shit like yeah. that. <laughs> Today, all day, Soylent is free. Everyone's like, ugh. Well, well. <laughs> All the fitness Instagrammers. Oh, fucking holy fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just, that's that's all fitness people do. They just eat, they do, they eat sludge and, and, um, uh, uh, food that is like, like has to be seasoned out the ass so they can't taste that it's fucking tree bark. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not it's not a new take that fitness food looks miserable, but it's just well, why don't we make one called sludge? Yeah, we should, yeah, that should be our drink product, man. It's just sludge and it's healthy <laughs> and and everything is unironic. Look at me drinking my sludge, and I'm better than you, and it's literally just mud, yeah, <laughs> it's just water and dirt and sand, fitness mud. It's and, complete. It's natural. Couldn't get more natural than that. Yeah, you know it's we should vegan sell completely. It's just soil. Yeah, you know we should sell. We should sell. Um, um, we we should we should be the first to produce like fitness rated mud, so people can build like tough mud or shit in their backyard. And I feel like it'd be so fun if we just sold packs of mix, and people are like, oh yeah, you got to pay sixty dollars a pound for this specialized mud to drink. <laughs> yeah, this one has higher resistance. Uh, yeah. This is a little bit more for beginners, a little bit more water in this one. So you can fucking army crawl through it easier. <laughs> yeah, the viscosity is tested and it's perfect. <laughs> we, should, we should make Tough Mudder packs. <laughs> you order it in the mail and then you can set up your own little thing in the backyard. It comes with barbed wire, comes with a climbing wall. <laughs> I feel like I feel like tough mutter events are just for husbands to get away from their clingy wives like in real time. They say, "Babe, we should do a tough mutter race." Yeah, and then he just takes off and he <laughs> he just leaves her ass at fucking workout 1. <laughs> just drowning in the fucking <laughs> covered head to toe in mud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she just biffs it. The dude's just like conquering the rope. <laughs> she can barely even get through the first. It's just like, honey. And he's just fucking. Why didn't you tell me to train for this? Yeah, 500 feet ahead, AirPods in. He just can't hear her. He's like, I'm fucking out of here. Oh. Oh, like. uh. <clears throat> Sludge mud coming to a fucking. <laughs> To a fitness store near you. What's up, guys? <laughs> Cody Lifts here. Just finished my morning sludge, and I'm about to hit some fasted cardio right now. Uh. <laughs> I'm still fasted because the sludge has zero <laughs> nutrients. It's literally just dirt, and that's the best thing about it. Keeps you full. <laughs> You know, but it doesn't do anything for you. <laughs> you know, like the fucking, like the big ass hose from like a concrete truck that like just pours out. Like, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just picture at the end of like a Tough Mudder event, all these people just gathered around with their 
looking up with their mouths open and a dude just standing on a podium just dumping sludge onto their fucking faces. Like, you did it! They're like, yes, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just dudes walking around with teacher cannons just full of Yeah, sludge. just full of mud. <laughs> And people grabbing the cannons with two hands and putting their heads into it. Give it to me! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the straw challenges on TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drinking it way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I was just throwing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the slide. <laughs> that shit is so stupid. <laughs> oh my god, we're fucking... We're 12 years old, holy shit. Uh, uh, yeah, if any of you thought we are going to tackle some serious issues today, nope. We're talking about sludge. Um, this is, this is going to be an hour about sludge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, speaking of... Um, um, speaking of sludge, man. Uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> speaking of sludge... We haven't done a relationship advice in a while, and yeah, yeah. this one just fits perfectly. <laughs> oh, you, it's great. Why don't you read the title of this, because my OBS just crashed, so I'll fix that while, uh, while you read this. <sighs> yeah, let me pull it up real quick. We really haven't <laughs> done one of these in a long time. By the way, I also, after this, we should talk about the Belle Delphine. Oh, yeah, video. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Didn't, didn't she, like, someone but, said she sampled our shit? Yeah, that's the, fun, that's the funny thing. All right, speaking of shit... It would, but isn't it like we're giving her free promo? Who? Her. I don't give, why, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Is it, is she a, like a bad person? I don't know, man. She just, I, she, dude, it's, we can't not, it's so funny. And like the fact that people think it's <clears throat> us in the fucking video. <laughs> Wait, what? It's not, okay. it's, yeah. I got, if, didn't you get a fuck ton of tweets being like, yo, is this you? No. They sampled somebody saying, that's fucking gay. Oh. It really sounds like they took it from the podcast or from something. And so I got a fuck ton of messages being like, I swear to God, this is your voice. Turns oh. out it's not. It's, it's, um, they sampled it from something else. Oh, but okay. how funny would that have been? No. No. I th <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but I thought, copyright okay. that shit. Claim royalties. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, um... All right, what the fuck is this? Now, speaking of shit, um, you want to read this? Or, or? Yes, okay. So we haven't, we haven't done one of these in a <clears throat> long time. And so we're, we're back with relationship advice. Mm -hmm. This one, the title is, My GF has skid marks in her underwear, and I don't know how to bring it up without embarrassing slash shaming her. <laughs> and I'll let you. Do you want to do the honors? Uh, I... 26 male, I've been dating my 24 female girlfriend for about seven months now. We've been quarantining together and technically been together 24 7 for the last 10 weeks or so. I sometimes do laundry and I've noticed like that sometimes some of her underwear has poopy skid marks. <laughs> this is a 26 year old man saying poopy skid marks? Come on, bro. It's, it's just How else shit. are you supposed to say it? It's just got shit. Shitty just, skid marks? Yeah, just a skid mark. Or just, There's know. no way to say that maturely. Maturely. Uh, maturely. <laughs> you know, a little, little paintbrush pattern. Um, My girlfriend has... Marker smear. Fe fecal marks <clears throat> on yeah. her panty panties. Uh, Pirelli fecal, rated fecal, fecal skid. All right. I first noticed... She's got a little turd, turd marks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I was going to make a really bad Formula One joke because, you know... Formula One has three rated tires, soft, medium, and hard. <laughs> right. She got skid marks in her underwear, soft rated. Just. <laughs> anyway. Oh, okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, you know, as opposed to a hard mm -hmm. smear, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got but, it. Hard smear. She's got yeah. turd smears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. I don't know how to say this, for lack of a better word. She has turd smears in her panties. <laughs> She got sludge, sludge stains. Yeah, she got sludge I'm stains. Sorry. There you go, sludge stains. Sorry for everyone trying to eat right now. I first noticed a few weeks ago when we were at a friend's lake house, and I was drunk, and I noticed her underwear on the floor. I jokingly pointed out to her, "Babe, what's that?" She's obviously very embarrassed, but we kind of let it go. Anyway, I did a load this week, 
sounds like she did a load this week too. And like three of her underwear had them. So now I'm wondering if this is a real issue to address. She's well put together in grad school, very smart and pretty, and has very good hygiene otherwise. But I'm trying to figure out how to bring this up without making her feel bad about herself. Bro, what if this is just blood and this dude has no idea how a period works? <laughs> um, there's potentially a brown be it. stain in her <laughs> underwear, and I think it's doo doo. She's like, I have a heavy flow, dick. <laughs> kind of seems like she might be pooping out of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned my girlfriend poops out of two holes. <laughs> I've noticed weird brown stains in the front of her underwear, and I didn't think that was possible. That's honestly, it honestly kind of seems like that might be the issue. I wonder what, if any of the comments say that. Yeah. We're never going to know, because I don't know what website this came from, so. Yeah, I have no idea. What is this? <laughs> Text r slash, no idea, it's weird. I'm asking for help <laughs> and advice. I don't want to change her or seem controlling. She's amazing and usually very clean. While it's deaf gross, I love her and this is not a deal breaker but I do want to try and help her in this regard. I like, mean, he thinks it might be a medical issue? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I uh, just want to take a quick break from all the talking that we're doing to uh, yes. introduce the sponsor of this episode, which is Talkspace. Listen, I think all of us are dealing with stress right now, whether it's isolation, canceled summer plans, economic stress. We get it, all right? We all have something to on our minds, and it's important to talk it out. Yeah, you know, um, I think it's natural to carry a lot of anxiety and heavy feelings. Uh, through this period i know i have you know going a little stir crazy talking helps plain and simple um so if you're you know looking for a place to open up maybe talk space is for you uh, it's online therapy um it, you get matched with a licensed therapist and uh, it's all from the comfort of your home you know get the support you need whatever works for you talk to a therapist 24 7 from your yep. phone or your computer and hear it back daily you know it doesn't have to get too deep but maybe if you have like Day-to-day -day issues that are weighing down on you, or you need you need someone to be a bounce board and sort the things out that's going on in your mind. This this might be good. Um, the the nice part about it is it's affordable. Uh, one month on Talkspace costs about the same amount as a single in-person therapy session. Uh, with Talkspace, you can send unlimited messages to your therapist, and they'll engage with you at least five days a week. That means you don't have to wait to share what's on your mind. And um, most, go ahead. It's secure. Yes, most important part. Talkspace is secure and private, using the latest encryption technology to store client information. Yeah. Uh, what's an encryption protocol that we've learned about? Um, AES 2046 or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, SHA-256. SHA-256. Multiply that by I bcrypt. Mean, and, yeah, uh, I wouldn't expect you guys to understand this. Is, this is computer scientist stuff. <laughs> all right, let's just take our word for it. It's secure, okay? We all need to talk sometimes, and Talkspace gives us the support we deserve at a price we can afford. Match with your perfect therapist at Talkspace.com or download the app. Use promo code TMG to get $100 off your first month. Holy shit. 100 bucks off your first month and help support the show as well because, as you know, if you use our promo codes, then we get more ads and it helps the show and us and everyone involved. So uh, yeah. that's Talkspace.com, promo code TMG. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe stop asking her to wear butt plugs and, you know. It'll Babe, I'm, I'm scared you might have chronic turditis. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm worried you have chronic to smear. I'm worried you have to smear. Smear. Slud, sl panty sludgeitis. <laughs> I'm worried you might have that. <laughs> panty sludgeitis. It kind of sounds legit. <laughs> Um, babe, I'm concerned you have the the turd piece. <laughs> nice turderia, uh, <laughs> chronic turderia, <clears throat> chronic front, front diuritis, diuritis, <laughs> diuritis. There you go. <laughs> God damn, that is stupid as fuck. Diuritis. <laughs> Why am I laughing so hard? <laughs> That is so stupid. <laughs> Sounds like diabetes. <laughs> this morning I woke up, my wife took off her underwear, and I found out she got diuritis. <laughs> She's a mid-30s woman in a pharmaceutical commercial. I take tramadol for my, <laughs> for my chronic front pussy diuritis. Tramadol, dude? I don't, I don't know. 
I was just trying to think of the first <laughs> medical sounding thing. I take Percocets for my awful <laughs> diarrhitis. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I take Tramadol so it comes out the back instead of the front. <laughs> My awful fupa diuritis. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me. Like, mom, my stomach hurts. Oh, maybe you should have some Percocet. <laughs> oh, your stomach hurts, honey. Here, here's a Perk 30. <laughs> It's just snoozing and shit. Have, yeah. have you tried doing heroin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of this broken. episode is done. We're not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Tram it all. <laughs> oh Tram it all for my front pussy <laughs> diuritis. <laughs> the kid's just knocked out for like. <laughs> Eight hours. <laughs> like a fucking Percocet for his diarrhea. Our friend comes over. Well, what's wrong with Billy? He had a tummy ache, so I gave him Percocet. <laughs> He's passed out with fucking diarrhea all over the place. <laughs> Doesn't look like it helped. <laughs> yeah, it just takes time. You have to let it work itself off. <laughs> it makes it all come out, then you'll clean it up. It's fine. Holy uh. shit. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I've <clears throat> suffered from awful diuritis for 14 years. <laughs> Did, have you seen that Have you seen that Postmates commercial that they're doing on Hulu or something? No. And it's like <clears throat> it's like some classic drug ad for old people. Okay. And it's like, you know, it's like old couples biking and shit like that and like during it they throw a field in a nice sunny day. And then and then eventually the, the narrator just keeps saying pad thai over and over and over again. <laughs> like it looks like a drug ad, so you tune it out. Yeah. You're like, I don't this isn't for me. And then and then all of a sudden you tune back in because you're like, why are they saying pad thai over and over again? And then the ad cuts and it's like, can't stop thinking about pad thai. Postmates delivery. Oh it's God. so good, dude. <laughs> I wonder who wrote that, man. That's fucking it's, genius. It's really good. Do they just like look to camera and they go pad thai? Like who? No, like the, the narrator is saying oh, it over the stock never, footage. The, no, the, the actor. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> it just cuts to like a title card, and it's like, "Can't stop thinking about Pad Thai." Uh, I thought it would be really funny because, like, in pharma commercials, the some lady's always playing with her kids, and then she like looks to camera and starts talking about the benefits. Okay. I was just thinking like it'd be funny if she's like holding her kid, she like looks at the camera, she's like Pad Thai, Pad Thai, and Pad Thai, Pad Thai, <laughs> Pad Thai, Pad Thai, <laughs> and I love my Pad Thai. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. I'm not sure. I forget. <clears throat> All right, should we, we bump this new Belle Delphine? Yeah, just play it for like, just, just Nate might have to censor this because it's like, it's she, you know she's like in a thong, and she's like showing her ass oh, and shit like that. Okay. But we just need to play it just so we can hear how like weird it is. Okay. All right. Fair. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is uncomfortable because it's like a child's voice. Why? <laughs> why why a child's that's her, voice? Because that's her whole thing. I know, but it's fucking... It's fucking weird. This is like Poppy, but for Epstein. Like, I don't like <clears throat> this, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this beat, dude? Okay, it's just, I hate okay. it. Yeah. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, we, we off that. I, yeah, that's... Ugh. We all the way off that. What the fuck is the internet <clears throat> doing to people, man? <laughs> so so what's her story? So she, like, sold her bathwater, and she then sold and then that the, was, like, turned out to be illegal or some shit. So she just disappeared time. off the face of the earth for, like, a year or some shit. Yeah. And now this is how she returns. Didn't she, But didn't she do time? I thought she went to jail. Did she? Yeah. What? Yeah, hold up. 
She had that like mugshot and everything. Delphine. Oh, I guess it. I guess that makes this kind of funnier that she took six nines. <sighs> it's kind of that's just stupid. Oh, she was arrested. O- this gets even better. What? She was arrested over a hamster. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember reading about this. What did she do? Um, she was <clears throat> okay. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Arrested for vandalism after she accused a friend of stealing her hamster. Oh, she posted. <laughs> she wrote, bitch, give me my hamster back. Bitch better have my hamster. <laughs> okay. So I guess maybe. Ugh. Ugh. You know, speaking of. Speaking of Bozo. Uh, Bozo 9. Six nine, mm-hmm. you think? I, I mean, he's definitely botting his shit. You saw how bad trolls did <laughs> relative to Goomba. <laughs> did it? <laughs> it has like eleven million plays. No, it does. Wait, on Spotify? Yeah, it ate shit. It's like it's definitely not a hit. Nah, but I mean, <clears throat> damn, it really does. Only eleven million. What? The- yeah, I mean, there's been this conspiracy that, not conspiracy, but I've, I've heard, you know, that a lot of artists <laughs> bought their streams and shit just to gas them up and make them seem big. Okay. Um, I, I believe that 6 9 had hype before. I definitely believe that. Um, and that's why I think Fifi and BB and all that shit has, like, big streams, but, yeah. 129 Man, 11 str- million. In yeah. A week is nothing for him. Zero. Wow. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't thought about the song one time since I played it the first when it came out. <clears throat> I mean, I Like it's, it's not memorable to me at all. I just I I just I listened to part of it and I was like, what the fuck even is this? This guy is he's he's done. <laughs> I just turned it's it off. It's such a weird choice for a second single <clears throat> in my opinion. Oh, bro, I think he's desperate. The whole shit with him, like, <clears throat> um, you know, begging people to buy it on. Did you see that Instagram video of him begging people to 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 buy the merch package and to buy because he wants it to be number one so bad? It's like, dude, just fucking leave yeah. it. Just yeah. make the songs, come out with them, and if they're good, they'll speak for themselves. Yeah. You have enough hype, and enough people will listen to it off the jump that you don't have to do that shit if it's an actually actual <clears throat> good song. Yeah. It's over for you. <laughs> it is done for that kid, man. He's I, I think it's yeah, I think it's out of there. Did um, you um <clears throat> uh did you see he has a song with Akon though coming out? Oh yeah, 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 I saw that. <laughs> what and then there was all this news about I I just learned Akon owns a diamond mind. Oh yeah, he owns a lot of shit. He owns like he started some um uh you know um, he like brought power to certain parts of what? What was what it? Let me get the story right. Acon Power. power <clears throat> yeah. Acon Lighting Africa. He started it in 2014. <clears throat> so yeah, it seems he's investing a ton in Africa, but then owning a yeah. diamond mine, and he's like publicly said that he doesn't believe blood diamonds are real. Uh, I don't know about that. I've, I, but I've seen people openly, not, I guess, I don't know if critical is the word, but they, they question his, um, his intentions. Some people I've seen feel that he's doing this, but he's, you know, he's, he's, it's a guise of philanthropy, and really what he's doing is just getting mega rich. Um, <clears throat> which, you know, wild if true. Hmm. Wild if true. I, I can't speak to that shit. But I feel like 6 9 has exposed um, what we all feel, and uh, he's fallen victim to it, and that is a guy making beats in his room is just not cool. <laughs> 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 Every time he puts out one of those videos in his fucking ankle monitor in his suburban closet, I always feel like, yeah, this is whack. <laughs> it's just going to be all, like, <clears throat> that's just going to be his videos now for the yeah. for the next foreseeable future. Yeah, this is not. It's just him in a shipping container. 
It's how many? There's not enough colors, dude. Yeah, you're out of colors already. Yeah, you used them all. It's just, what other color are you gonna go? Are you gonna go to? Yeah. Also, he's turning into his ex girlfriend. <laughs> Fellas. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Are you prepared to unveil your summer dog? I mean, bod. Um, <laughs> Manscaped dog. is here to ensure your post-quarantine body is ready for the wild. Don't be that guy at the beach with a bear rug on your chest looking like you don't get up and win every day. If you grew some quarantine man tits, the least you can do is make sure they're hairless right with your non-winner's body. <laughs> I gotta say, I got some, I got some hairy moves right now. Okay, I got some hairy winter moves, and I don't want these for the summer. I want them to be hairless for the summer. And uh, with manscaping, with manscaped, you can do, you can do just that. All right, they have forever changed the grooming game with their perfect package 3.0. The perfect package 3.0 comes with the essential lawnmower 3.0 waterproof cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your manscaping routine. Yeah, make sure your 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 hairy moves look like two supple pieces of uncooked chicken. Nice and smooth moves. This is the best. Tr- <laughs> <laughs> we can cut that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. Keep it. Uh, um, yo, man, this is one of the best. Tr- uh, man, I'm not. Say- I'm not saying this. Nate, cut this out. I, I refuse to say that. I cannot say that. <laughs> Uh, this third generation trimmer features skin safe technology to reduce manscaping accidents inside the perfect package. Uh, you'll also find your dog along with the manscaped crop preserver an mm-hmm. anti chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer because we all know Ooh. how painful chafing can be when you're wearing your bathing suit all day. Oh, and- also they just launched in Canada. Ba-ba-da-ma. So if you're Canadian like us, you've gone years without using the right tools for the job. <laughs> That's fucked up. Just assuming we don't groom. We don't actually. We need we need our balls to be warm. That's yeah. the thing. Uh, you can be one of the first Canadians to experience their life changing products. Get twenty percent off plus free shipping with the code TMG at manscaped.com. Do yourself um, a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get that's a, again. Let's get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code TMG at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code TMG. Trim your chesticles with. The besticles. <laughs> yeah. Like they look the same. It fucking crazy. It's yeah, with the wig on and stuff out. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And the- all the shiny merch. Oh man. So bizarre. Yeah. It's yeah. It's bizarre. Maybe you know, man, you know, maybe <clears throat> maybe this is real identity, bro. Maybe just underneath goes- all that screaming, he's just <laughs> he's trying to hide a femininity that He's just, he's so desperately trying to get away from. Yeah, maybe this is all for Pride Month. Yeah, maybe, man. All the, um, yeah. I think, you think he wakes up in the mirror and and he puts on his blue contacts and licks his lips and then he's like, no, 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 no. Burnley Trucker! (laughs) Yeah, those blue, what is that, a filter? What is that? Yeah, it's like a filter. Yeah. So fucking weird. (laughs) He's like, he's like resisting the urge (laughs) to get on Grindr. Every day, yeah, and show off, show off his blue eyes. He's like, no, I can't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm six nine. I'm the guy. <clears throat> I'm scum. I'm a game. Skittles pack. Yeah, <laughs> I love Skittles. <laughs> That's what this all all this is. It's just I love Skittles. Yeah, yeah. He's just looking for his his Skittles brand deal. But I mean, if he if he stayed on his career, no, actually, I don't think so. I don't think Skittles would have went for it. Yeah, there's no way. For it. He's just like the least brandable person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> speaking of brands, I found out that so there's like a a particular race league. Uh, so we're talking to this kid. He's, he's 18. He he drives in GT3, which is like the league. GT3 meaning like for, like F1. Okay. He's 18 driving in this league. Um, and he was telling me that he was telling me kind of the cost of like a car. And it's not really that expensive. And but uh what's crazy is the league allows for gentlemen drivers. So if you're like fucking rich, he says that rich guys just enter into races. Like they don't they're not 
well-trained race car drivers, they just have a fuckload of money and they want to race, they can just buy a car and do that shit, which is fucking nuts. And they're called gentleman drivers? They're called gentleman drivers, yeah. <laughs> gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. It just pulls up, some old dude pulls up in a, what, <laughs> what are we talking, like Ferraris and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, what Aston Martins. Yeah. It's like, not cheap. Yeah. Yeah, he just pulls gentlemen. up, he's just like, gentlemen? Are we racing for pink slips today, gentlemen? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? Get off the grid. <laughs> All these other dudes in racing suits, and he's wearing just like a cardigan. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking, a, he's got a pipe. Yeah, just old money shit. <laughs> gentlemen? Gentlemen? I want a clean race today, gentlemen. <laughs> and it better not be anything more than that, or we'll get into the fisticuffs, you see? <laughs> <laughs> So, are you thinking about doing it? You're gonna become a gentleman racer. Yeah, I'll become a gentleman driver. <laughs> Fucking dude, I would, I would. <laughs> you know, it's slow <laughs> enough that I, I would. You know, it's it's only like 500 horsepower. It can't be that much scarier than driving through. Then your, like, <laughs> then your home setup. Oh yeah, yeah. Then then driving on the computer, right? Yeah, it can't be that much scarier than nah, that. Nah, it's it's pr basically the same thing. <clears throat> Dude, I I've been fucking playing this sim, uh, and the the realism is is hits it, like pretty much close to home according to like real drivers. Yo, that shit. I thought I fixed my nerve. I did one fucking lap of that, and I was my nerve <laughs> is broken again. I couldn't believe how difficult that shit was. <clears throat> then what do you mean? Just like the feedback, like from the car, and like having oh, gotcha. to stabilize it, and man, it's gotcha. it's a whole other world. Did you race again? Um, I mean, just like against <clears throat> AI, I was just like doing. No, I mean this weekend. Did you? No, no, no. The um, uh, they're that's like on hold for a little bit. Um, gotcha. The new season's starting back up, so um, they got to rethink that, and all the pro drivers are actually uh practicing right now, so. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But I was just I want I was just saying it's 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 funny to like imagine a rich dude pulling up next to all these cars that are branded it's like Pirelli and all this shit and this dude pulls up and it's just like promoting his fucking like wife's cookie business. He's like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> doing this for the for the wife, you know, she's uh she's been baking and uh trying to get a Bethany's, company off the Bethany's ground. biscuits." Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Wife. Bethany's biscuits. Bethany's, yeah. <laughs> That's my wife. <clears throat> James Poole in the 18 Lamborghini car, and then the number six car is Dave racing for Bethany's biscuits. <laughs> the most, the most delicious biscuits. <laughs> They're just doing ad reads in the middle yeah. of the grid. Yeah. <laughs> In the UK, if I do say so myself, I love these biscuits. I really do. I do love them myself, yeah. I do I've, love I've, these I've got biscuits. A batch right here. I do Matter love fact, these biscuits. I've got a batch right here under the <laughs> table. Fancy that. I've just happened to bring a batch of Bethany's biscuits to the, oh. to the racer's desk. Have a look at oh, this. Oh, these things are bloody good. Mm. Matter of fact, let's cut over to race control. And it looks like our, 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 our race control. Oh, look at that. All 19 from race control are eating our Bethany's biscuits as well. So... Very, very popular uh, item. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, Trent. I've seen Bethany. She's got some biscuits of her own. You know, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? And in the number 69 car, me and Bethany. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, Bethany's dude. Biscuits. I was saying <clears throat> the problem with motorsport, it's too, it's too like nose in the air. It needs to be more. Um, it 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 needs more shit talking. I feel. I think. Yeah, it needs to be more like the stock car racing that we went to. Yeah, yeah. It, it needs to. It needs to. I was saying like before the start of the race, they need to have like stare downs. Like these mm -hmm. dudes need to walk up to each other like forehead to forehead. Like you fucking your car stinks, pussy. You know. <laughs> 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 something like that you know <clears throat> or just like you know just get like a fucking like a famous uh uh wrestling uh, fuck oh my god Who, how do i forget this dude's name this dude Stone was like old steve austin no 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 um <clears throat> hold on uh, Ooh, bless me is it Excuse yeah G me. G gene okerlin 
this dude perfected, uh, if I have this right, I believe he's the one who kind of pioneered fucking stirring the pot. Like, he was the dude who, like, you know, says, Hulk says he's going to beat your uh, your skinny ass this weekend. How, how do you feel about that? And he's like, whoa, you call me skinny? Fuck that guy. <laughs> wow. In F1? No, 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 in, in wrestling. Like, he... Oh, he, wrestling. Okay, he like, okay. You know, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what they need in F1. Like, you know, they yeah. say, uh, you know, hey, man, uh, um... Uh, Mike says you got uh, skinny legs and you're going to have a hard time breaking this weekend. What, how, how do you feel about that? He says you got hips like a woman. I can break just fine. I'll break. <laughs> you tell him his head is fucking shaped like an overgrown melon, motherfucker. <laughs> and you can tell him that Ferrari sucks. <laughs> uh, what, what was that movie? The Sasha Baron Cohen movie? Wasn't that about F1? Um, which one? The Will Ferrell and Sasha Baron Cohen. Am I just... Making that up? No, I can't bro. You talking about Ricky Bobby? No, <laughs> talking no, about no, Talladega no. Nights? No, there was another one, <laughs> wasn't there? <clears throat> um, I'm looking it up, bro. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Talladega. You Nights. You are thinking about Talladega Nights. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's a lot of trash talking in that movie. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's funny. I'm gonna make the first I'm gonna make the first F one comedy movie. And it's gonna be about a driver with gigantic balls and he can't fit into the car. <laughs> he they have to custom they have to make the cockpit. Everyone else has to sit with their legs narrow. He has to sit doing like forty five degree splits in the car because his balls like are so huge. That's a that's a good idea. <laughs> he has to unique pen. That's good. <laughs> and he's also really brave. Yeah, he's really brave. He's the yeah. best driver because he has, because <laughs> he has the courage. You know, he's got big balls of steel. No, dude. And what, also, his balls are actually steel. Yeah. No. What if? What if he has to get into the car doing the splits? But like, so he's like sideways in the car and he has to steer with one hand. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's good. I like that. Anyway, anyway. I like that, dude. <clears throat> Bro, um Whoo No, speaking of fighting, dude, I have to bring this shit up because this tweet had me crying. So all all these people in MMA are retiring. I brought up that dude, Henry Cejudo, who like retired, giving up two belts, and Dana White was standing in the background when he announced this retirement on the pay-per-view, and Dana's face was like, Are you fucking kidding me? <clears throat> And and now it's Amanda Nunes? Yeah, now Amanda Nunes wants to retire. <laughs> Why? I mean, dude, there's literally no one who can beat her. It, so she, like, made her money, she's undefeated, and now she's just going to be like, whatever. Yeah. Dude, leaving on top. The la- That's the, the way to do it, right? Yeah, that is the way to do it. The only other option is you keep, you keep fighting, you keep making Dana money, and then eventually you were just, like, yeah. shitty and you're not remembered as like a top fighter yeah and then and and the young guys come up and they wash you ba- badly and then that's it so uh, yeah i don't it, but i'm just crying that the fact that he just said i will kill her <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'd like to see you try dude yeah <laughs> i don't know man dana's been on roids look at this motherfucker dude. <laughs> yeah that's true that's oh true. my god hold up when he was talking and about Connor retired again too, right? Huh? Connor retired again too. I think right? that was in the in sort of you know he's just kind of I don't know either trying to get attention or in solidarity with uh, 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 fighters about pay and shit like that. Um, I see. God damn it! This fucking um, uh. I want to play this clip of Dana White clowning a uh, Bob Arum about fucking. Did I, did I send you this? I don't think so, bro. This. Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. This shit is so funny. You don't even have to like fighting to like this shit. Where is this clip? Let's see. God damn it! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, is 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 it really gonna? Man, I swear, I swear, I swear. <laughs> <clears throat> let me go to oh let me go to fucking go. Ariel Alwani 
Hey guys, I'm I'm Jamie today. Hold Welcome on. to the Computer Zone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Computer Zone. <laughs> Welcome to the P Zone. Okay. The PC Zone. <clears throat> ah, I just want to take a quick break real quick to discuss Babbel, the sponsor of this episode. Been thinking about relearning that language you took in high school or college, but think it will take too much time? Babbel can help you relearn that language fast. Fast. And easy. Easy. Uh, it's designed to quickly get you speaking your new language within weeks with daily 10 to 15 minute lessons. Pig Latin, if you're interested in speaking that, easy. Yeah. I don't know if Babbel has pig, pig Latin. They probably don't, honestly, but you shouldn't be learning that anyways at this age. <laughs> Babbel, Babbel teaches real life conversations. You are not learning words and phrases out of context. You learn through interactive dialogues. Um, uh, Babbel works because it's built around real life how people actually communicate and what they care about. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, Francais, Italian, and German. The speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. And Babbel is available as an app or online, so your progress will be synced across all devices. Yes. Right now, Babbel is offering our listeners three months free with a purchase of a three-month <laughs> subscription with promo code TMG. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code TMG on your three-month subscription. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, promo code TMG. Babbel, language for life. Bro, uh, f f fucking spin some up while I find this. This clip is so fucking <clears throat> funny, dude. Um, We have, uh, dude, this TikTok of the, the, the chick doing whatever audio that is with her boyfriend and her ex-boyfriend sitting yeah. beside her. Yeah. Oh, brutal. we got to watch that after. Fucking brutal. It um, is brutal in the best way. Um, well, I love that OBS keeps crashing. This is really cool. Yeah, I like that feature about it. Oh, wait, wait. Are we good? We're good. <laughs> What's this other this other video you sent me? Is it the chick acting like a dog? Yes. Oh, I hate that. Yes. Dude, yes. there's one in the grocery store or something? Yes. Where she's like begging for water? Oh. Yeah, we'll spin that up once I hate it. I'm I have to find this clip for two reasons. One, I want you to, here we go. Fucking thank you. Let's go. Twitter. I want you to see first of all. Can you see can you see the pipes on this dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some <laughs> This dude looks like a fucking comic book character. Yeah. When the fuck did he start doing roids, dude? Dana's huge. Yeah, he's yoked. All right. So <laughs> Listen to this shit. <laughs> Top Rank is a boxing promotion. Okay. So he's talking about this dude, Bob Arum. Okay. Who owns Top Rank. <laughs> Listen to this. And so he, and he leads this statement with, you know, we've done a lot of great things with the, with this company. And we went from being, you know, a, uh, uh, getting barely any viewers like like more than cornhole to where we are now <laughs> okay. and uh which by the way cornhole almost outrated top rank the other night for their live fights so congratulations to top rank bob arum just give him a shout out good job bob you're fucking brilliant you dickhead <laughs> any other questions wait so why does he not like this bob arum guy um, to be honest, I don't know like the beef between them. I'm I'm sure I'm sure it's like Bob Arum <laughs> would talk shit about UFC. I'm I'm whatever. Uh, I'm I'm sure there's there's something there, you know. Cornhole is such a funny fucking sport. Dude, it oh my there. god. How bad does that have to sting? That's such a good jab. It really is. The biggest By the way, Cornhole almost outranked you guys so nice fucking work stupid yeah you <laughs> fucking yeah, nice job. it's like the number one sport that people do drunk <laughs> almost outranked boxing and just good job dickhead ow <laughs> ow that's good that's really good oh dana white is the fucking great a piece of shit man i fucking he's he looks like a villain oh he is he a villain really he's, does. He's, he's real life lex luther he's you know he's Jacked. He's real life Lex Luthor. This man is terrifying. He has thighs on his fucking shoulders. <laughs> he really does. That's a fucking. That's a that's a hundred sixty pound bodybuilder's thighs on his yeah. fucking arms, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
his arms can squat. Like that is yeah. scary, yep. dude. Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This fool squatting, doing handstands. He's just holding the bar with his fucking knees. <laughs> doing front squats. <laughs> By the way, Bob. <laughs> his fucking voice. Hold on. Which, by, which, the, by way, the way, Cornhole almost outranked. <laughs> I don't have a big enough neck to do his voice. You need like so yeah. much neck clamping your uh, esophagus. By the way, <laughs> Cornhole. Cornhole. Wait. Almost. So, congratulations to top rank, Bob Arum. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> That was good. That was really good. <laughs> we got it. That was good. <laughs> Fucking shit. Um. <clears throat> all right. Now that we got video, should we? Uh. Which which one? What you want to do? You want to? You want to get your little? Uh. Your little doggy. You want to get your yeah, doggy fetish fix? We might as, we might as well. Let's. Yeah. We might as well. So this girl buzzing. Why in? On... Why in public though? <laughs> why in public though? Why in public though? So this is this is some what is this is some dominatrix shit? Yeah. This but, is some like, like fetish shit. Which is fine, but. It's on, not on TikTok. Come yeah. on. Twitter, fine. Twitter's got more little sub-communities, more little niches, that if you seek this stuff out, then that's fine. Man, what are you talking about? TikTok got mad furry shit on there. Does it? I mean, dude, yes. I'm not on furry, I'm not on furry TikTok, apparently. <laughs> Bro, my, that's, my feed would just be like uh, uh, dancing, dancing, someone... Filming their dog falling down and then 200 like furry. <laughs> well, that's algorithmic though, dude. It's, my, you're, you don't know. You're just sub subconsciously seeking it out. My algorithm is so fucked. I, I, got a I, got, I got served a video of these dudes who are just picking on their blind friend. Oh, no. It's just like, it's just, I just, I just swipe. I haven't, mind you, I haven't opened TikTok in. Maybe three months? Not that's an exaggeration. Like a month. I legitimately haven't opened that app in like a month. <clears throat> I crack it open. <clears throat> I get served a video, and the the caption is, "Blind guy tries to catch a football." I'm like, "What?" And it's just their <laughs> blind friend standing there with his arms out, and they're just throwing footballs at him. It's just like clip after clip. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I I mean, I did I I told you about the the barstool like documentary that we were watching, didn't I? No. It was a barstool documentary? Yeah, the fucking the the dude, the presidente guy, he paid some like intern to make it. It honestly looks like it's some, you know, a uh, college film student that made this documentary. Okay. Basically chronicling his life and then the beginning the beginnings of Barstool. And okay. it's actually like pretty funny. So one of the episodes is about how he has a knack of hiring interns that are just ridiculously stupid. Okay. And and also abnormal. And so he hires this guy, and his name is Blind Blind Steve or something like that. This guy is legally blind, and they didn't know. And I guess they found out like after the fact that he was legally blind, but they didn't believe him. <laughs> so like in order to test it, that he just would walk in the room, and they would just like throw shit at him. <laughs> I feel so bad for laughing at this. I feel so bad, but he was laughing. That, blind Steve was that's laughing. So at it. that's so dark. It's pretty I mean, dark. If, if Blind Steve is in on the bit, fine. He's in on it. He was in on it. He he thought it was funny. There's like an interview with him, and he's like, "Yeah, I thought it was funny." <sighs> he he never wanted to. He, I guess he. <laughs> you just gotta watch it. The tone of it is is funny. That's kind of that's kind of wild to n not want to be open about uh, being just blind enough. Like that must be awkward as hell. People are, like showing him pictures. It's just like, oh my, I did this this weekend, and he's like. Yeah, it looks dope. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like the color blue to yeah. him. <laughs> What's your favorite part? The canyon uh, we went to. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't. Sick. I like it all, man. I really do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he, um, yeah. Um. But, anyways, that's what your TikTok is. It's just all furry stuff. Yeah, but of effect, I mean. <laughs> Man, I just feel bad now. I just got this image of ten barstool guys picking on a blind dude. Hey, hey, you gotta watch catch it. This you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. No, it's I'm, pretty funny. I'm, I'm sure it's you know whatever. It's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. But 
They definitely had an interesting story. This, okay. Barstool. Look, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that, um, I'm not going to say that this is wrong, but I am going to say, don't be a dog. Uh, where, where is it annoying to be a dog? <clears throat> what do you mean? Like, you know, this, this, um, this anamorph thing that she's doing, becoming a pet or whatever. Yeah, at the grocery store. <laughs> um, you know what, man? I'm a hot take. I'm going to say grocery store is all right. People bring their dogs in grocery store. I'm going to say that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, um, at a um, oh, when you're trying to play spike ball. Okay, okay. And there's a dog running around, and you uh, can't. You're gonna worry. You're gonna step on it. Uh, <laughs> or volleyball. This is, this is uh, this is such a good way. This is such a good excuse to cheat. She's just fucking <laughs> some other dude is acting like a dog in their house. It's like, babe, what are you doing? No, I'm in dog mode. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were just sniffing each other's asses. <laughs> oh God, I was just sniffing his butthole. That's all it was. Oh, babe. I thought you were in here cheating on me. Jeez. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dog mode activated. <laughs> Ruff. <laughs> Play this shit. Let's see it. Right, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Hey, hey. Give me, give me the ball. Where you? I'm cringing so hard. I just, I would hate to be this boyfriend because you got to pretend like you can't get the ball from her. You could definitely get the ball from her. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Someone on all fours, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just full mount. <laughs> just get the back. <laughs> roll roll onto your back. Now it's, you know, <laughs> she's doing baseball back grip. And you yank the ball right out of her mouth. Like, I think that's the part that sucks about it is you got to pretend that, you know. Yeah, it's hard for the... For the other person. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. It's <laughs> like, hard to get into it. Like, for her, she's playing the role of a dog, right? She's not even being a human. So it's easier for you to get in that headspace because mm -hmm. it's more extreme. Whereas the other guy has to pretend that it's just him yeah. seeing another human as a dog. That's yes. harder. Yeah. <laughs> this is the toughest improv class I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, dude, people we should make a movie, and we should cast, um, uh, they, uh, what's the fucking phrase for it? There's like a phrase. Um, uh, hold up, let me, let me get this right. N netherkin or some shit? Not that I would know this from reading another relationship advice where a dude's had to leave his girlfriend because she assumed <clears throat> the persona of a cat and it destroyed their relationship. Nothing like that. <laughs> what? What's up? No way. You got to find that one. What's up? Now you have to find that one because it's so relevant to this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's up? What did I just explain? <laughs> what's Reddit again? What's up? Um, the thing is, dude, when we talk about R-E-D-D-I-T stuff, it's like, um, you know, uh, it's just like we go into a trance. And we yeah. don't actually remember what we said. Yeah. Okay, someone did a... Re okay, we'll, we'll pull this up after. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's, it's called, like, nether... Something kin. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I don't, I don't know the proper name. But Are there anywhere you, like, assume the persona of a sloth? I mean, bro. Or, like, a snail? Yeah. I mean, I, I would assume... <laughs> a snail yeah. dude yeah yes you I just, mean if I had to guess I would say yeah dude a snail you just put a bike helmet on each ass cheek and you cover your stomach in grease and you're just <laughs> crawling you go <laughs> oh no that's a worm I'm thinking yeah. about a worm <laughs> just <laughs> slowly crawling in the house. Just leaving sludge behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, seeping sludge. <laughs> I'm so, please excuse my snail. She has diuritis. <laughs> <laughs> my diuritis makes it really easy to get into my snail headspace. All I do is put my bicycle helmets on my ass and I'm in my snail headspace. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
All right, babe. Tonight, I'm gonna be a grizzly. I'm gonna be a grizzly bear. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and you're just standing on all fours on the countertop, eating bananas like a psycho. <laughs> What the fuck was I trying to say with this shit, dude? Anyway, yeah. Oh, we should cast a movie where it's all boyfriends who have girlfriends or vice versa that are, you know, animal headspace people, you know? Because I bet you they're great actors. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Wow. That's a good point. Because they, they they have to really get into it. And you could put them in really crazy shit. All right, man. You're on Mars and you're fighting aliens and the shit is about to blow up. Action. And they're just... They're like, this is fucking easy, dude. I've been, you won't, you wouldn't believe this shit I've been, I've been dealing with. Yeah, he's you like, wouldn't oh, believe the that's scenes it. that easy. I've done. Get to over the spaceship the now! <laughs> like, wow, this guy's a natural. <laughs> Holy shit, how are you that good? <laughs> Wait, did I tell you? Fucking, so I'm always fucking with Nemo whenever we shoot shit, and I want to do a fucking, I want to do a sketch with like a, with like a passive aggressive, like condescending director. Did I tell you about this shit? Yeah. Okay. I think okay. So. Oh, fucking whatever. That's just what that made me didn't, think of. Yeah. Didn't wait. Were we talking about that on Broke Bitch or no? Um. No, that was us being mean to the. Director. No, we were. Yeah, we were just fucking with him as a bit. No, I was thinking more like um like a director to the actor, like the yeah. actor like finishes the t- take and then the director's like and cut. Oh boy. <laughs> hey. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Uh, let's just do it again, but less of the. Uh, you know. And then he like walks back to his chair and he like looks at some fucking AD and he's like, ooh, like mocking the person. All right, action. <laughs> the actor goes again. Johnny, cut. That one was going to be bad. Let's go again. <laughs> it's like, okay, ow. Cut. Yeah, you didn't get that at all. Let's go again. <laughs> cut, not usable. Let's go again. <laughs> and cut. Yeah, that was a take. That was definitely a take. Um, you, you ever watch Entourage? <laughs> yeah. There's that season, wh- whichever season it is, that Vince does the fire movie. Okay. And that German director. Okay. Basically, like, slights him and kind of, like, removes his lines slowly and stuff like that. He's kind of the same character. And then he finally, you know, he keeps making excuses as to why he's, like, writing Vince out of the movie and Vince, like, and giving other people his lines and stuff like that. And finally, Vince, like, confronts him and he's like, it's, it's just because you're shitty. I think you're a shitty fucking actor. And he was like, he was like, no, I'm going to, let's do this next scene. And so they like, he puts him up in this tree. He's supposed to be like, you know, he's supposed to like be caught in this tree or some shit. And it, it's supposed to be like a super intense scene. And Vince like, can't do it. And the director is doing that shit the whole time. He's like, again, again. And Vince <laughs> is like, let's go again. And he's like, no, no, that's it. They finally go again for the last take. And the director just walks away. As Vince is doing the scene. <laughs> he just walks away and Vince is trying to do it and he's watching the director's back just get smaller and smaller as he walks into the distance it's just such a dick dickhead move oh man well there goes the bit either way no but you should use that no we should we should or something like that no we, we I think we gotta make the, the netherkin boyfriend movie anyway let's watch the clip because we've done everything yeah. oh no 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 we did I meant I wanted to watch the grocery store one, but I don't have it. Um, just search. Hold, it was in one of a, it was in a thread somewhere. Dude, the top com- one of the, the few comments from this thread killed me. The f- top one being, "I hate how much I like this," <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> "So disgusting." That's why I like it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't find it. God damn it. There was like one more. <clears throat> it doesn't say your TikTok name on there? Um, let me on see. On the actual video? Shouldn't it be like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what is it? Your puppy girl Jenna. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Who's puppy girl Jenna? Your puppy girl Jenna. Your your puppy girl. Yeah, okay, this one. It's called This was the first one they fucking did. Oh boy. I'm sending it to the Hold on, I'm browsing. Thread. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah, the first one. There it is. Man, this this feels like a like a ploy. It's like a I've, I've, I swear, or something. Four TikToks from now. Here's my OnlyFans. I promise yeah. you. Yeah. I yeah. promise you. Yeah. 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 Mm, okay. Mm. 
There you go. Ugh. She didn't even get in that water, I man. I hate the I hate the titles. The little captions. Mm. <laughs> I'm still thirsty. <laughs> it's like the stupid shit that dog parents do on Instagram. They give their dog a voice. Yeah. It's like yeah. that, but she has a voice. She could just use it. <laughs> what, mm. <laughs> what kills me about this frame? It's no one there gives a fuck that she's doing <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> like, this is these three guys ordering fucking Philly cheesesteaks, and they're like, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're getting off on them doing this in public, like, just the two of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, no one gives a fuck. What, are they, what are the fuck are they doing? Oh, that's weird. That's weird as shit. <laughs> oh all right. Oh, my God. I got to piss, then let's jump into the bonus. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn it. Well, all right, guys. Thank oh, you, everyone, hope you for enjoyed listening. enjoyed your puppy play. Appreciate it. My bladder is bursting. Yeah, same. I've been trying to drink more water, and it just it's just constant pissing. That's all it is. Yeah. That's all that's changed for me. It's just constant pissing. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you all in the bones. <laughs> on. Peace. I'm going to go whiz as well. <laughs>